Many other industries that have felt the effects of the coronavirus, the real estate industry is seeing a decline in business. Our Brenda Matuti shares how some local real estate agents are using the technology of today to try and survive the pandemic. Nice entryway, nice tall ceilings. In a time when social distancing is the number one priority. If you don't close, you don't make any money. Real estate agents are having to go virtual. Just do a walkthrough. Just a toilet and a sink in this one, granite tops, white cabinets. It does have a mudroom coming in from the garage. Realtors Lydia and Jed Ransom are relying on FaceTime, Zoom, and recorded videos to make sure their clients can still buy the home of their dreams. Okay, going up the stairs. Here we go. These aren't tight. These aren't real scary like some of them I've seen. Going up to the game room. I love that light. The Ransom couple says the social distancing guidelines set in place by government officials impacted the amount of people willing to go out and buy a house. It got a little worse when to stay home because people started being, you know, very conscious about the virus. The couple says they're accustomed to closing about 12 deals at a time, but that number has now dwindled down to four. We're pretty lucky that those are closing because I think that one did lose their job and we had to cancel that contract. In the meantime, if they're not virtually showing houses. We're taking continuing education courses, still staying in touch, still doing our social media. The Ransom team says if people want to see a house in person, they're willing to stay outside while potential buyers peruse their homes. We're going to try our best. We're going to try our best and never stop. In Corpus Christi, I'm Brenda Matuti. Ransom says they are offering e-contracts for buyers who are ready to sign the paperwork to buy their new home. Vermont says